Michelle, welcome back here to historic Westminster Hall. Now, yesterday, three members of the, of the government or the top team around Mr Sunak resigned over the Rwanda bill. We know about what Lee Anderson and Brendan Clark-Smith, the former deputy chairs, had to say, but no one's heard from Jane Stevenson. She was a government mm -hmm. uh, aide, a, a parliamentary private secretary to Kemi Badenoch, and she's with me now. Jane Stevenson, thank you for joining us here on GB News tonight. How big was it to resign over a government bill? Um, it was unfortunate to have to resign, but that's the deal if you, if you want to speak out on, on certain lines. And I've done so much work on illegal migration. It is really important to my constituents. So I, I wanted a tougher bill. And you may not get one if the bill is not amended tonight. If you don't get any amendments, will you vote for the bill at third reading? Yeah. I will, because then we have no bill. So, but I think what I want to focus on, like if you listen to my comments in the committee stage in the chamber, it's about a bigger framework. Rwanda is not the whole answer to this. We need all those post-war frameworks and legal practices to be updated. They're not fit for purpose. Uh, and I, I spoke at length about that. So mm. that's what yeah. I want. The Prime Minister, he announced in December yeah. to Giorgio Meloni, he said he was going to look at that. And I want him to get a move on with that, because I think that will grasp the nettle. Europe's ready to have that conversation. The US is ready to have it. So I think that's how we properly get control of our borders. And Jane Stevenson, of course, you spoke to Rishi Sunak since then, and you, you got on quite well. Did he? We've hunted out. No, he he absolutely knows where I stand. He accepts. I just feel I'd like a slightly tougher bill. Some people in my party think it will work now. Some people want it a little bit softer. So the disagreements. I know the news teams like to get a good schism story. <laughs> I don't think we're that divided on it. It's just. You know, if we look at the legal frameworks, the one nation are acting within those frameworks, we can sort it out. So I hope we're just work in progress to getting it done, but time is not. Well, no Jane, Jane Stevenson there, who resigned yesterday from the government of the Rwanda bill, telling us and confirming to us she will vote for the bill at third reading tonight. That number of 60 MPs, rebels MPs overnight, Michelle, is getting smaller and smaller. It certainly is. Uh, Nigel Nelson, let me ask you about this, right? Um, this is supposed to be a bill that's all about um, stopping these boat crossings, right? Trying to get people uh, to tear them over to Rwanda. And I just want to tell you guys at home, I asked you just before, Christopher, do you know how many people have crossed the channel today? Uh, did you guess? Do you know this number? 350 people today. I mean, it makes me want to fall off my chair in one regard. And in my other regard, it just makes me want to laugh because it's so ridiculous. And on the other regard, it makes me want to have steam up my ears because it's so uh, preposterous, appalling. Where, you know, are we using this bill now, Nigel, honestly, these politicians? Are they using this to properly try and stop these crossings? Or when we hear people say it, oh, yeah, you know, I'm going to stand by my principles. I'm going to have integrity. I'm going to vote with these amendments. I'm going to resign my position uh, as, a, as a matter of principle, are you going to vote tonight with the government then? Oh, yeah, 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 I am. Yeah. Have we got to the point uh, where people are just desperately trying to say one thing in order to sort of shore up some votes at the next election? Um, and really, it's more about them trying to keep their jobs as opposed to getting the right bill to stop the migrants. You've got it in one. Uh, oh, good, we'll go home now then, everyone. <laughs> <Show's over. laughs> that's exactly what's going on. The, the, this is all about the election. Um, what Rishi Sunak needs is to get one plane off with one migrant would do, would do nicely and get it off to Rwanda.